I'm pleased to announce that Gilead now has an EUA from the FDA for remdesivir. And you know what that is, because that's been the hot thing also in the papers and in the media for the last little while. An important treatment for hospitalized coronavirus patients. And it's something uh, I spoke with Dr. Khan and uh, Dr. Fauci. I spoke with Deborah about it. And it's, uh, it's really a very promising situation. Uh, we've been doing work uh, with the teams at the FDA, NIH, and Gilead for spearheading this public-private partnership to make this happen very quickly. So uh, today, we're going to be uh, — and I'm going to let Dan do it, but we're going to let Dan make a statement as to what uh, the company is doing, making a contribution to really people that are not doing well, people that are sick, people that have this horrible uh, plague that's set into our country and that we're getting rid of, and we're going to be — we're going to be having some really incredible results. We have uh, very promising studies coming out on the vaccines. We have promising studies coming out on uh, therapeutics. And, uh, we want to make sure nothing gets in the way of these patients getting the medicine. So we made a decision to donate about 1.5 million vials of remdesivir. We'll be working with the government to determine how best to uh, uh, distribute that uh, within the United States. We'll be working very closely to get that to patients, working with uh, FEMA, working with other parts of the government to make sure that we get that to the patients in need as quickly as possible, because there are patients out there that can benefit from this medicine today that are hospitalized, and we don't want any time to waste for that. And uh, we're all working together to, to do everything we can with COVID. Well, it's very exciting. And just so you know, so Dan's making and the company a very major contribution uh, towards helping people. So we very much appreciate that. Appreciate it. Um, so as the President just announced, we uh, authorized uh, Gilead's application for emergency use authorization for the use of remdesivir in hospitalized patients. Uh, that was issued today. Uh, thank you very much, and congratulations, uh, Mr. O'Day, for the great work from the company and the collaboration that we've had. I also want to thank the more than 18,000 uh, employees at FDA who have heeded the President's call to reduce regulatory burden and red tape and move things forward. I, I think I said the other day this was lightning speed in terms of getting something approved. And from clinical trial to getting it authorized from the FDA, it's been uh, quite the speedy but also effective process. This is an important clinical advance uh, that showed a statistically significant reduction in time to recovery for patients with COVID-19 and is the first authorized therapy for COVID-19. So we're really uh, proud to be part of it. Mr. President, thank you for your leadership. Well, thank you. And you know, Dr. Hahn left one of the most important jobs in medicine, as you know, yeah. to take the FDA. And uh, we're glad he did. Well, it was a, <laughs> and a very important job and a tremendous reputation, but to take this job and uh, you're doing great, so we're really proud of you. Thank, Thank you sir. very much. Deborah, please. I'll oh, just be very brief. I, I think this really illustrates what can happen in such a short time. I mean, from the first case that was diagnosed in the United States to now, um, our first step forward with a therapeutic in less than 90 days. For those of us who have worked in viral diseases and pandemics for a long time, this is our first really positive step forward. Um, it's our first step forward. Obviously, groups are still working on vaccines. I just want to also thank the company for not only making sure this got into clinical trial, but for, for individuals who didn't qualify for the clinical trial, they made compassionate use drug available from the very beginning at our request and around the world. And I think that combination of really strong, scientific, rigorous clinical trials, but also when you don't really have something um, to make compassionate use available was also really quite extraordinary. So again, also thank you for the patients because obviously this was a randomized trial. There was a group that did not get drug. It's why the Data Safety Monitoring Board stopped the trial because of this statistical difference, because you can't keep placebos on a trial when you already have shown significance in the treatment arm. And so to the patients who were willing to be randomized and to the doctors who did the trials and the nurses who took care of them, we're really very grateful because these, this clinical research is critical for these breakthroughs. But obviously, there's someone getting the agent, and there's others that aren't. And so that's really been extraordinary. 